upgrade to the truck. And he gave me the license to drive like a douchebag. You want to see it? Yeah, put a mini stripper pole in there, huh? What do you think about that? I actually have a different reason for doing that. And I'll explain that once I roll my phone. Don't mind a mess in the truck. The uh, original thing is right there. That's where the shifter knob needs to sit. So you got about a good handful right there. That's where the shifter was. And that's where the shifter is. Anyhow, the guy that normally drives this truck for me is also a buddy of mine. Anyway, and I asked him before, like, hey, would you be interested in me putting that in the truck? He said, no, not really. I don't really want it. Well, I bought it for my other truck, my project truck. And I ain't never put it in there, and I had it laying in the floorboard of my pickup. So I thought to myself, well, let's just see what it looks like. And I had to put any shipping up on anybody. The other one was coming off in my hand, like, it was all gooey and nasty how easy that man man that was awesome it's actually kind of fun to drive with i mean it actually makes shifting a little easier believe it or not i mean you got more leverage on your shift even though you don't need it you got to use a lighter hand you can't just gouge down on it you don't work that good once you gotta be careful with it, you can tear something up, is what I've been told. I don't know that for a fact, I ain't never throwing nothing up on it, but anyway. Got it coming in now. So he doesn't know what's in here. He doesn't start driving until, uh, I think next Monday. Yeah, a week from today. He starts driving on the 15th. So we got a a job to start back up. But anyhow, he, he don't know what's happening yet. Good feature. And if he genuinely doesn't like it, I'll take it back out. It's just quick to that airline back there. And that, that little piece just screws off. It's not super tight or nothing. Uh, ooh, we got a pretty nasty week coming up, weather-wise. It's supposed to be windy and rainy, like bad tomorrow. And I've only got this load, and I think another load to get off. I should have to take care of We'll see. before the scale it's all back here got one moving up so my windows are dirty my phone's dirty it's my last load for the week as far as i know unless something else pops up start back in on monday in the meantime i'm going to try to take my aluminum trailer and get a tarp put on it do a little work to my van trailer and try to clean this truck up. I 
I've done nothing to keep you busy for a few days, plus I'm going to have to fight with the weather. The weather's not going to be very nice, it sounds like. We'll see, though. There's a few coming in behind me, but it ain't bad. I don't care if it's behind me anyway. I've heard about people in front of me pulling up. That big old gap that they got. He's an older guy. He didn't look like he could hardly get out of his truck early when he went to go pee. I don't really expect him to stay off and on the clutch real hard. Anyway, oh yeah, that green elevator right over there is Riceland and Corning, Arkansas. Not that he might care, still. Alright, well, that's pretty much my day. Load the wagon, sit and wait. So, that's where we are. Well, we're heading to go get a dark put on this up, girl. Raining, nasty.